Joey Logano absolutely deserves a penalty for his post-race pit road burnout. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Joey Logano is absolutely getting a penalty for his post-race pit road antics on Sunday night after NASCAR's Cup Series race at Richmond. If you missed what happened, I can only assume that you're on the island that Tom Hanks was on in Castaway because it's been everywhere. Even SportsCenter led off with it, and they don't even remember NASCAR exists half the time. But Austin Dillon intentionally wrecks Joey Logano into turn three kind of in the middle of turn four by the time he got to him and spun him around. And then he comes down the racetrack and hooks Denny Hamlin into the wall, goes on to win the race and just gets out and says, yeah, I had, I did what I had to do. Well, you didn't technically have to do that. Nobody's saying, Hey, go out there and wreck him. Well, technically his team was telling him to go wreck him, but that, I digress. We've already talked about that enough. But Joey Logano gets wrecked. He was on his way to victory past Austin Dillon clean on that restart on the outside. Nothing egregious about anything that he did, and then he just gets wiped out. And yes, Joey Logano has done this before, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this incident, and Logano was upset about it. He goes down pit road after the race with a wrecked race car. Toe link's broken on the car, so he's kind of having to just keep, you know, you know, blipping the throttle to get it to turn. As he's going, he's blipping the throttle and kind of just using that to keep the car straight because it keeps wanting to crab walk on him. Gets down to pit road realizes, hey, all the number three crew guys are standing right here in their pit box celebrating, stops in front of them. I don't know if he flips them off. I don't know what he does there. But he then dumps the clutch, does a burnout in front of them. Austin's wife, nanny, friend, I'm not really sure who, and the kids are there as well. And if you've been around a Gen 7 NASCAR Cup Series car, they're incredibly loud. I know a lot of people are like, they're not any louder than the Gen 6. They 100% are. And in really close proximity like that, they're incredibly loud. And Joey dumping the clutch, doing a burnout, definitely not great for the kids in their developing ears, I assume. Don't know much about them. But he then speeds down pit road there, and the officials were absolutely furious. You can see the video right here from Noah Lewis, uh, where you can see from the pit box, essentially, of the three car, and then Joey taking off. So yeah, I mean, you can hear how loud it was. It even distorted the microphone on uh, Noah's iPhone, I assume, iPhone there. Yeah, bad look. That's a bad look. But when you see it from the onboard of Joey Logano, it's actually somehow a worse look. From that, take a look at that. So yeah, obviously, as you see him pulling up to them, he's <laughs> kind of driving right at him. And part of that is the fact that he's not in the lane that the car should be coming onto pit road and people don't expect cars to be there. The other part is he does have a broken toe link and it's not exactly tracking straight, but he comes incredibly close to hitting those crew members as well as a NASCAR official and Austin's wife and kids. Not great. They all had to jump out of the way. Visually, it definitely looks really bad. And then you see him dump the clutch, burn out right there, and a NASCAR official running up pit road, pointing and screaming at Joey Logano. And he's absolutely right, because anytime a Mustang gets around a crowd of people, it's incredibly dangerous. And he saw what was about to happen here. But for Joey, you can't do something like that. And I think Joey had a moment of realization as well, because even on the NBC USA broadcast on Sunday night, they showed Joey getting out of his car and being surrounded by officials and the one official that was running towards him was in his face still as he was getting out of the car and you can kind of see him say the official seems to be like okay okay uh yelling at joey and i think joey had a moment of realization being like i messed up bad here like this is this is going to cost me some money the kids aren't going to be able to go to college for four straight years they're only gonna have to, they're gonna have to knock it out in three it's going to be a fifty thousand dollar fine at least i can't imagine nascar doing anything less than that. I mean, if Bubba Wallace loved tapping Alex Bowman on the cooldown lap at Chicago is a $50,000 fine. Joey Logano driving <laughs> kind of at some crew members and some family members has got to be at least a $50,000 fine. I mean, even Daniel Suarez got fined for running into the back of Alex Bowman at Coda a couple, what was that, 2022, 20, I think it was. Yeah, and you have to, you have to, you have to penalize him and fine him for this. I don't think it's a points penalty. It was after the race. It wasn't anything that happened during the race. So I would argue that you don't give him a points penalty for this, but you should definitely give him a monetary fine and a 
and it sounds scolding. Now, there's going to be a lot of people that are like, why are family members, why are that many people on pit road after the race? It's still a hot pit road. And I am 100% on board with you. Uh, as Denny Hamlin and others have said, NASCAR has gotten kind of lax, or at least tracks have gotten pretty lax on people coming over the wall before all the cars are stopped at this point. And I mean, I've been to enough racetracks now and kind of on pit road for enough of these races where it kind of depends on the track and honestly, the person. So a lot of tracks do have their own security there. And I mean, Daytona, for example, nobody was really over the wall until all the cars had stopped. And I mean, even when William Byron was coming by to go to victory lane, nobody was in his way there. And people were, people were on pit road, but nothing like what we saw at Richmond, Richmond, there seemed to be an abundance of people over the wall, uh, at that racetrack. And yeah, I think it's a it's a catch-22, right? Because I, I, there's a lot of people that understand uh, crew members should be over the wall, right? They're doing their job. But then some people that maybe shouldn't be it should definitely be waiting for those cars to come to a complete stop before going out because situations like this can, can happen. And you're putting yourself in harm's way and you're also putting the drivers in a precarious position as well. Not saying what Joey did was right, but I don't think Joey necessarily expected family members to be out on the, uh, on the pit road. Uh, still definitely should not have driven at the crew members or at a NASCAR official. That was, it's dangerous. It's inherently dangerous and shouldn't happen. But I definitely think NASCAR is going to take a stronger look at the amount of people that are coming over pit wall while the pit road is still hot. You have to wait until the cars come to a complete stop, in my opinion. And maybe we'll see something change about that, a bulletin being sent out to some of the teams. But for the most part, Joey Logano's definitely got to get a penalty. Tuesday, the penalty report will come out. We'll have to wait and see what's going to be on that. It could even be Wednesday. We'll have to see if NASCAR is going to take their time making a decision on whether or not Austin Dillon gets penalized, as well as what happens with Joey Logano here. But for now, let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.